Finally got here, mate. Oh. Finally, we have arrived to the tunnel. Um, Late though, aren't we? Yeah, we missed it. <laughs> we missed. Who would have thought? Yeah, we missed Who it. Who would have thought? No, we just missed it. We were technically on time, but we were just too late to get on our train. But, yeah. You know, it's, only, well, it's, only, it's only half an hour, well, 20 minutes afterwards, isn't it? So, yeah, yeah, because we missed it again. We're very, very late again. We're not very late. We are we? late. We're a little bit late. A little bit late is very late to me. Who's false that? I don't know, someone missed the junction and was 50 minutes behind. <laughs> <laughs> Get the bait over as well, that's a bit of a scary one, isn't it? Getting the bait over, yeah, got to do that, yeah. So, yeah, nerves are uh, nerves are very high at the minute. Ash has just gone and washed his feet. Real girl, I need you to come closer Just because I won't forget to know you Let's talk about me being exchange numbers There's a whole world that I want to show you Real girl, I need you to come closer Just because I won't forget to know you Let's talk and maybe exchange numbers There's a whole world that I wanna show you That's the following the train boys We're on the shuttle Yeah I'm moving We're on the ground now I think Yeah yeah, yeah. And, uh, It's nice to finally be on there isn't it yeah, Stretch your legs as well It's not long now mate Not long at all 30 minutes yeah. So Ash is in, into, hooked into a 50 yeah, Alright yeah <laughs> We'll get to that And if things go nice then we could be in love and if things go nice, then things might happen. We could be in love. And if things go nice, then we could be in love. And if things go nice, then things might happen. We could be in love. I was asleep, Paul. You are? How did you sleep? Alright, to be honest. Good sleep. sleep on, was it? Yeah, good sleep, but... It wasn't until like 2 in the morning, a car pulled up right next to my bed chair. Got out, I started having conversations and that. Uh, very busy, uh, busy petrol station. Today's the day. We've got a couple of hours left driving, I think. Yeah, well, uh, well yeah, two and a half hours. Oh, I'm tired, me. Morning, Lo. Morning. How was your sleep? Like a baby in a car park. Like a baby in a car park. Yeah. <laughs> We're yeah. alright to the end, we made it. No one killed us. No French man with a baguette. Fruit boy, you look like a smoker. Got some weed, but no one got no whisper. I can see all the stress that you're under. Can we go and trash it on the sofa? Fruit boy, you seem like a joker. Can I bother you for a lighter? Is it alright if I ask for your number? I don't mind if you come a bit. And if things go nice, then we could be in love. And if things go nice, then things might happen. We could be in love. And if things go nice, then we could be in love. And if things go nice, then things might happen. We could be in love. Many come out from margins and close down the edges. On your pegs, if you can do the same. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Best there. Right. Tight. Two, yeah. What's your preference? Which one's two? Any? Yeah. It comes to me. 
Well, it is time. Rods are being put out as we speak. I don't know if you can see over there, but all the lads are out in the boats looking for clear patches. Uh, and I'm uh, re-spooling my reels because I forgot to do it when I was back in England. Not seen really any carp. We've seen a few things top out of the water, but we think they're not. I think they're just little nuisance fish. I know Andy's shouted over that he's found um, found a couple of proper clear spots, pure gravel, he reckons. So I'm gonna go out in the boat myself and check them out shortly. We've all pretty much been out in the boats now looking for some spots. I'm pretty confident I found two nice little clear patches on gravel, it's pure gravel, you know, putting a stick on it and it just really clean. Um, Hard to find them, aren't they? You've got there's to be a lot of weed out there, there's a lot of weed out there, but you know, the catch reports show that it isn't a problem. Every week people catch on here, so it's uh, definitely can't be used as an excuse. And then, uh, and that's it, the hardcore fishing starts then, doesn't it? Yeah. And hopefully some beasts, because there's some mega fish in here, mega fish in here. So let's uh, hope, hopefully tonight that we can, um, one of us can either catch one or get a run or anything just to... Yeah, just a little summer tonight, yeah, yeah, yeah. a little summer tonight. Give us a yeah. bit of confidence. Start to the, say the first full morning, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, man. Just half asleep there in bed, just one toe on No way. What have you got there then, pal? Fish, mate. Got a fish, first morning. Nice as a comet, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yes, a fatty. It's heavy. Go on, lift it, lift it. Thirty-six on the button. Well, I am absolutely buzzing now. First fish of the trip came the first morning. What time is it, anyone? Uh, about nine o'clock or something. About nine o'clock here. So eight, nine. just laying in bed there, my lamps ripped off to a one note. Struck into it and then got caught in a bit of weed, but slowly came out of it. Ash helped me as well on the rod, didn't you? A little bit as I, as I got in the boat. And we got her in. Absolutely buzzing, 36 pound French carp. Fell to the Outlaw Pro, Pro Spice. Absolutely buzzing, mate, 36 pound. So, glad the pictures will get her back now. See you later, thank you very much. So, been a tough day on it after your fish. Yeah, we're not. We mean, we've not put a lot of into fishing so far today. It's been really hot. The guys said it's been. Yeah, been absolutely beaming down. Like you can't go in this, out in the shade without getting burnt or just you're just dripping with sweat straight away. So the guy said it's not even been like anywhere near as hot as that for a while. So yeah, not great, is it? No. So we've just been chilling today a bit more, trying to um, stay cool. Try to stay alive. Try to stay alive, yeah. Try <laughs> to cook, cook ourselves, and then we um, we all brought our rods in. Had a barbecue. Yeah, about four o'clock. Didn't we had a barbecue? A social, social thing. Yeah, up, up at the top there, near, near the 
you know, the guy's little hut there, so I'd have a few burgers. The sun's about to set. Yeah. Rods are in, rods are all set. Rods are all set now. Monday? Monday, Monday morning. Monday morning. Still no fish for me, no fish for Kieran. Just this fella here with the, uh, with the first so fish. Far. And then over to the right of us. One of our mates, Smith, he's just had a, well, he had a fish that I helped him with this morning. And while he was ready to get his second rod back out, his first rod went again. So not quite a double take, but not far off. Last night, I don't know, did you hear all the boshing last night? Yeah, over here. It's the, it was, um, I could hear loads over that way. Over towards Adam's side and that side. So I wasn't surprised with Smithy this morning. Yeah, we had the drone up yesterday and there was majority of the stock looked like they were down there. Somewhere in the middle-ish over there. But uh, there's no reason why we shouldn't get disturbed in the night, innit? Hopefully. <clears throat> Fingers crossed. Yeah, we're going to have one soon. Yeah, got, got, got to have one soon. Good morning, sailor. Morning. What a good morning it is. It's massive, isn't it? Is it? Looks big. Oh my god! Yo, look at the size of this fish. Tuesday morning, and what a morning as well. After having no action since I've been here, not even a beep, any signs of fish in front of me, uh, I'm watching them elsewhere, different parts of the lake. I really thought I wasn't going to have any luck. I started doubting everything I was doing, changing tactics, all the rest of it. But then this morning, the rod screams off. And it's the biggest fish I've ever ever seen, I think, on the bank. That is a beast. Let's just get back in the water quickly. New PB for me. We're at uh, Etang de Dupierre in France. What a lake this is. Some of the fish in here are crazy. <laughs> this one doing 57 pound on the nose. <clears throat> Falling to an outlaw pro. Pro fruit pop up over the bed of krill boiler. <clears throat> and I think she's getting ready to go. Hold well on mate. Cheers, That's an oh, absolute you. bruiser. Thank you. <sighs> Good angling. I don't know what to say, mate. Just look at the size of it. Oh, oh no. Would you let him go now, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> two, two and a half, same spot I've lost two fish. 
this morning. It's paid off staying on the spot. You nice. knew it was going to come, didn't you? Yeah, I was confident. Uh, nice, lovely looking mirror. Um, weeded me up in a bit of weed and my H block, but managed to free it getting out in the boat, so happy days. <laughs> So it's just gone midday. Uh, daytime has been quiet here this whole, this whole week so far. It's been too hot for them, not seeing much action. But today with this morning it was a little bit colder, so I thought I'd just sit on the rods, let them, you know, leave them out there from the morning, from the night before, and just wait and see what happens. And then just after midday, my uh, my, my, my middle rod just screamed off, struck into it, a fish on straight away. So we got out in the boat, me and Ash, and then luckily we managed to, to net her out there. Uh, just got her back in the bank now, just weighed her. And it's a new PB for me, so I'm absolutely buzzing. 42 and a half pound. There's no way I'm lifting a 50 pound, I'll take that for free. She fell to the Outlaw Pro, Pro Fruit, pop up there, so on a chud rig. So yeah, absolutely buzzing, I'm gonna get some pictures now. What's it, mate? <clears throat> Right, so it's Wednesday morning, um, we've got three full days left and I'm not going to lie, yesterday I was getting a bit panicky because of, uh, of the fish that came out yesterday, they all seem to be down the other end of the lake, so yeah, it was a squeaky bun time yesterday, so the plan was yesterday, get my rods out with uh, a bait boat in three spots that I knew were there and just sit on them and like I said this morning it was what did you say it was nine o'clock so it was just so before nine, just before nine you've had and nine. I mean it screamed off and I knew it was a fish straight away but like I said it was panicky time there because you've got to, got to land it haven't you but yeah low came out with me on the boat oh, the scales are nice on this and That's the, that's the mirror. A little dumpy mirror, isn't it? Yeah, look at it, it's not bad, is it? It's nice. Obviously, it's uh, there's massive fish in here. And again, like last year, the one the one carp I caught last year was only small in comparison, but it gets me off the mark, and at least I know that where I'm fishing over there, um, the clear spots will be producing, hopefully, so. Get some pictures, rods straight back out in it. That's it, yeah. It's gonna get another one. Absolutely made up with it, off the mark. I love the mirror. I think it was the Pro Spice Outlaw Pros. Pro Spice pop ups. I think she's already ready to go. Um, but yeah, off the mark. There she goes. Happy days. Let's have another one. Yeah, I've got a few days in now. It's flying by to be honest. Uh, now it's Wednesday dinner time. And uh, God, the relief. This morning when I caught, caught that mirror. Um, I know it's only small, but 
the way I felt yesterday, I, I was contemplating moving. Decided yesterday, after getting the drone up, we had a little flyby around to the left of my swim into the this huge bed of weed out there. So when I got here originally, I thought I'd try and avoid it and stick to the areas in the middle in front of my swim. There was about six or seven fish that we saw out in all that weed out there. So that's when I got the boat out, the bait boat. I said, I know it was only, what was it, 25 pound, but you know, that's the, it's made me feel better. Yesterday, I, you know, I was, I was really panicking, of, you know, you know what it's like, and dreaming about blanking and going home. And, you know, it's, um, especially with what's in this water, you know, there's some units, ashes, you know, big 57. So it's a good start. are out so sit back and relax now finally just but not you. but not these days aren't they yeah, the daytime has been yeah. really really hot you, you just can't be out 30 can you? degrees in it 30 right. degrees every day yeah it's, just, it's funny because last last three times i've come to france the whole week's just been absolutely scorching it's and as soon as we leave as soon as we leave this year it literally goes back down to like, to like high teens to be fair, it's, I think it's our own fault. We, keep, we always book in the prime yeah. somewhere like, like some odd holiday time, yeah. don't we? Some of those, you want to balance between like a bit of a holiday sunshine type thing and some good fishing, but can't have it all, can you, I suppose? No, no, no. But we've had a few fish, so it's not the end of the world, is it? Feet up, relax, wait for the screamer. Kieran had one this morning. Uh, nice mid-20 mirror. Other than that, it's been pretty quiet. Looks like the weather's about to change. It's gone from being really hot to, I don't know, it's cooled right down and the sky's a bit grey. Is that a good thing? I think so, yeah. It's a definitely the, a good thing. Should bring the pressure down, shouldn't it? So, fingers crossed, we get a carp this evening. I do think it's bite time. I, I have just lost the fish as well. Yeah. Um, and, it, you know, my rod, my rig was only out for half an hour or so. Yeah. So, yeah, like, like I say, we're not being absolutely like, smashing the place by any means, but I feel, like the, I feel confident in the bait and I feel, you know, Covering the spots. When we have caught, it's worked. Yeah. With, with the, with the, you know, with the. Um, the criller. The criller, you know, the pop ups, the rigs, everything we've been doing yeah. is working because, you know, we have pulled fish in, but. Yeah. The weather's definitely been a hindrance. But we have got a storm coming, haven't we? Yeah. I it might reach as early hours, so we'll have to, uh, we'll have to see how it goes, but. Forecasts were right, it seems. Uh, over the last couple of days, we've been reading that there's going to be a storm brewing. Um, it was supposed to start last night, but it's not. It's uh, when we, obviously when we checked this morning, it was it was uh, saying later in the afternoon, probably around five or six, thunderstorms, rain, a lot of wind, and um, I think it's about four o'clock now. So it's definitely started. It's grey everywhere. Yeah, I was open over the last you know last two days. We can catch at least another two or three. But yeah, it's been really tough. Right, well Kieran's getting attacked by a wasp. I'm absolutely buzzing, mate. The alarm's just gone off. It's, I don't even know what time it is, probably the middle of the night sometime, 3am or something. And my, my left rod is ripped off. So I struck into it, slowly, just came back really slowly, chugging along. Luckily came back all the way to the bank, need to get into the boat. And it's produced this absolute beast. The new PB, uh, 56 and a half, so absolutely buzzing. Mm. Try to get it, have a look at her now. 
Fishy hole. Wow. Check that out. That's a bruiser, mate. Heavy. <laughs> Size of that. Anything you want to say, Lo, before you say goodbye to this absolute beast? I don't know. Just give it a kiss. absolutely over the moon. Give him a little kiss as well. Give him a hold, you know. That's it. Let's get him back. Where's ready to go away, anyway. You up too, mate? Just clearing all this weed off, off the line. I've just uh, had a big run and just struck into it and played it in for a while. Got stuck in the weeds as I was getting the bolt out. It broke loose and I uh, lost the fish. Unfortunately, but there's so much weed. There's a lot of weed in there. As you can see. So, not ideal. Come on, get in, get in. Our second fish of the trip. As the trip's drawing to an end, it's our last day, it's Friday now. Uh, we have to pack up and be off by the morning. I've had one fish so far, so I didn't think I was gonna get another. It just, it just hadn't worked for me. Out of nowhere this morning, proper one noter. And it's the, uh, it's the pro fruit again. Oh, no, 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 no. It's been doing quite well, the pro fruit. Yeah, it's done a few, few fish on it. So there she is. Nice 27-pound, was it? 27-pound on the dock. Yeah, simple, really. Just a blow-back rig on a, um, on a bed of Krilla boilies and a 15 mil pro fruit prop up. Proper French looking mirror, that innit? Now, I'll do some picks, get her back, and see if it's time for another. Nice. Hey. Hold on, mate. Cheers, pal. Okay, well, we're on the final night now. Go home in the morning, and I've just been laying in bed there, just about to fall asleep. Don't know what time it is, it's just gone midnight now. I mean, uh, the last one just kicked off. Yeah, she's very angry, as you can see. So I tried to keep her out too long. Um, so, yeah, 37 pound. Absolutely buzzing. Good way to uh, end the trip. Outlaw Pro Pro Spice, again, doing the business. Right, so we'll take a look at her. She's angry, so hopefully she behaves. We'll find out. There we go. 37 pound. 
French carp. Absolutely beautiful. So the week has come to an end. Yeah, it's been quite a tough week on the fishing, fishing wise. Weather's been against us, hasn't it? Yeah. The uh, the sun when we got here was absolutely ridiculous. It was just burning hot. Then halfway through we had thunderstorms and it just wasn't great. We're but up against the elements, yeah. We, we did, did right. our, we, we did alright. Yeah. We had a couple of fifties on the bank. Andy's had four. I've had a couple. You had one. I've had the one. Yeah. Lost um, one as well. A few of the other lads caught. So. We've all lost a few as well, haven't we? So. Yeah, we have lost numerous fish. The as weed. many as we caught, I think, wasn't it? It was yeah. close to, wasn't it? Yeah, probably. The weed is it's very bad here at the minute. Um, you can find clay spots and everything, no problem. But, you know, when you get a run and playing a fish, you are battling through a lot of weed. Yep. Um, it's handy that we had the boat. Definitely. Without that, you yeah, yeah, no, struggle. Yeah, yeah, so it's a good job this boat's here. Um, it's a great place, though. I, yeah, I really I enjoyed it, it yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's. Um, it's a nice place. Yeah. Well, I think we'll, uh, you know, try and come back. Yeah, if we get the, op yeah. the, get the opportunity, we'd definitely, definitely come, come back. back yeah. Yeah. Um, the stock of fishing here is mega. Yeah. It's mega. Yeah. And the, the owner, Stroke Bailiff, Graham, is a really nice bloke. So, yeah, we'd, we'd definitely do it again. Um, probably different time of year, though. Le you know, less out of summer, innit? Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, so it was good. It was good. We, you know, so we, all, we all did very well for what it was worth. Yeah. So, um, so yeah, until, until next time. Tight lines. Tight lines. Uh -huh. Imagine everything you ever wanted, show so. And that's how you make a cup of tea. 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 tea.